GBB's baby and posh public schoolboy Tom Horwood has been out getting owned over the NHS this morning. He decided to tweet out this claiming we're spending more on the NHS than France or Germany do, but that they both have more doctors per head. Well, it's not true, and the OECD who track such things in their latest figures prove it. According to their latest data, which is from 2019, Germany spent 11.7% of GDP on health, France spent 11.2%, and we spent 10.3%. So you've been caught with your pants well and truly aflame, young Tom. Anyway, in good right-wing fashion, he does, of course, double down after Jessica Seymour QC brought up these inconvenient facts to him. Young Tom scoffed at these, saying the figures were out of date, that he had figures from 2021-22, saying the UK had spent 11.9% of GDP. But no mention, oddly enough, of what France and Germany's figures were, probably because he doesn't have them. So how come he's got figures the OEC don't, Damo? Why doesn't he have the data from other countries? Ah, well, now we come to the source of his info, and that would be from an interview former health hatchet man Jeremy Hunt gave this morning about his new book, a book Tom hasn't read since he says he's looking forward to doing so. Where did Hunt get these figures from? His select committee, apparently. So it's unverified information being presented as fact, it's hearsay, frankly, without the data from other nations to accurately corroborate his initial point. This is PR for Hunt from Harwood. It's stenography, not journalism. But let's just entertain the possibility posh boy Tom is right in what he's saying. The years since 2019 have been especially hard on the NHS since they've had to deal with a certain pandemic you might have heard of that's actually still going on. Given how badly the politicians Tom cheerleads for have stuffed up their response to this, it might be little wonder that the NHS has required additional spending. If he wants to talk about doctors or any other medical staff for head of population, driving away many of them due to Brexit, requiring they pay through the nose for citizenship, certainly hasn't helped. Besides, per head spending on healthcare rather than number of health workers is a better indicator of how well our health service operates compared to others. But then there's the fact our economy has been clobbered throughout all of this too, and it continues to be. If NHS funding stood still, given our GDP had dropped, the percentage of GDP spent on health would still rise. So it's a dishonest way of measuring it. Fundamentally, young Tom, like many others of his right-wing persuasion, want the NHS gone. This was his attempt at showing it's failing when the only thing that has is his sorry excuse for journalism.